Stimulus check number two, great news. The impact of the coronavirus is far from over. About 43 million Americans have filed for unemployment since many states began restricting public activity in March. As a result of the pandemic, the economy will reduce an estimated amount of $8 trillion for the next 10 years, according to a congressional budget office in a recent report. Now, the Trump administration is under fire to boost the economy, which was sent to stir up for measures to slow the spread of the pandemic. If you are new to this channel, be sure to like, share, and subscribe for more relevant content. And stay tuned until the end of this video to find out about the timeline and how much you could get in a second stimulus check. Bloomberg reported that Congress has not yet set a date for a vote on a second stimulus check. But the Senate Majority Leader, Mitch McConnell, said that the Senate could wait towards the end of July to work on the bill. On the other hand, as reported by CNBC, the Senate leaders want to evaluate first how much money had been allocated to the initial stimulus checks and how much was actually spent for the support funds for businesses before the government negotiates the details of a second stimulus proposal. While the government is torn whether a stimulus check too will be necessary, President Trump shared the unemployment rate dropped to 13.3% in May showing an improvement from the 14.7% reported in April and effectively slowing the momentum of stimulus check two. However, in several states across the country, coronavirus case counts have started to rise again. And for this reason, our concern about the financial crisis due to the pandemic continues. According to Senate Majority Leader Mitch McConnell, if the government passes stimulus check two, it will be part of the last release act Congress passes to aid the country with the financial setbacks of the pandemic. The House passed the $3 trillion relief package called the HEROES Act on May 16 that includes a stimulus check too of up to $1,200 per person or $2,400 for married couples. About a month later, the Senate is still deciding whether to approve the bill for taxpayers or draft an entirely new stimulus plan. It will take a few weeks or months before they would finalize and pass the bill for the president to sign. The Senate's traditional August recess starts on August 8 and ends on September 8, which would significantly delay talks around the bill if a resolution isn't reached soon. Although the criteria on who will qualify for the stimulus check too haven't been set, those who received the first stimulus check could receive the second one. People who earned $75,000 or less per year, according to their most recent tax returns, qualified for the entire $1,200 stimulus check. Married people or joint filers who earned under $150,000 per year were eligible for the $2,400. Those who earn more, up to $100,000 per year, will receive a prorated amount as long as they've filed their taxes. For every child or dependent under the age of 17, 16 or younger, parents who meet the eligibility requirements will receive an additional $500 economic impact payment. However, because payments are based on the 2019 tax returns, children both adopted in 2020 will not be qualified for the stimulus check too. It was noted that the age restriction on who qualifies for the $1,200 per dependent package is removed in the second round of stimulus checks. However, it limits the number of children up to three. This will all come from the HEROES Act to be voted on soon. Meanwhile, as there's no guarantee that stimulus check two will pass, the Senate is also looking at other viable alternatives to the second round of stimulus checks. According to CNBC, Republicans are backing a proposal to cut payroll taxes. However, while this would give some Americans bigger paychecks, those who are unemployed would not benefit. Senators Kamala Harris and Bernie Sanders led another Senate bill that proposes $2,000 for every U.S. citizen each month until the pandemic ends. Despite the Senate working on its monthly payment bills, there could be too many roadblocks for this to be passed. Not only would $2,000 create an enormous expense for the government, but it would be difficult to identify those who truly require financial support. According to a Wallet Hub survey, 84% of Americans want another stimulus check, even if they haven't received their first one yet. This only makes the demand for the second check certain. So what happens next? Is the President and Senate members open to negotiating a second round of payments? As reported by CNBC, President Trump said, I think we're going to be helping people out and getting some money for them. He added that the U.S. could take one more nice shot at a stimulus payment. 
Also, senior White House economic advisor Kevin Hassett told CNN that another phase of stimulus is pretty likely. But that was when unemployment was believed to get as high as 23%. But this does not mean a stimulus check too is happening or not happening. Meanwhile, the Americans wait until then. Are you ready? Will you qualify for a stimulus check too? Please write it down on the comment section below. Don't forget to give us a thumbs up and subscribe to this channel. Thank you for watching.